I'm Nick with Nick's Nonsense. Thank you for watching. We are going to have some fun today. Do all kinds of crazy things. Sometimes cool, sometimes yucky. Yeah, watch and enjoy. Alright, here we are. We're going to try and replace this uh, rear axle sprocket on this go-kart here. Four-seater dong fang go-kart. So, let's see how successful we are. Okay, first thing we gotta jack it up. Okay, we got a number 17 socket. Let's see if our Milwaukee Impact will take it off. Oh yeah, easy. Then we take the wheel off. <laughs> Alright, here's what it looks like with the wheel off. Okay, we're going to take these bolts off here. Got two different sizes for some reason. This one's a 13 and the other's a 12. Here we go. Yeah, top one above that. Ready? Okay, now we're going to remove these. Twelves on here. Alright, now the chain is tight, so we have to loosen the engine to loosen the chain. So we got to undo these screws here, take off our plastic back. Alright, now we need to loosen this chain here. So we're going to undo this nut, and then that one, and that will allow us to move this up or down, and we want the engine to move down. Okay, now that we got those loose, we need to loosen this so that the engine will pivot all right then now that we got the engine pushed down we can take the chain off here there we go all comes loose like cookie. magic okay let's remove this section Ta -da. all right so then we just pop this out from the frame Slide that outwards. There it is. Okay, now taking off the brake. Okay, we took off this wheel and loosened up the brake rotor, and now. The shaft slides. Let's see what happens here. Oh, it's broken. Okay, we got that far. And then we aim it down and out. There it goes. All right. So it doesn't slide through either end. You just push it one direction and then you're able to fall it out the bottom. Okay, it's getting dark out, but we found why the chain was slipping and it wasn't moving. All right, there we go. So there's the old one, there's the new one. As you can see, a little bit of difference in the teeth there. Yep. All right, mosquitoes. Yeah. Okay, we're stopping for the night. Mosquitoes are out, and it's getting dark. Okay, then we just slide this on from this side. Get the goopy grass out of the way. 
There we go. Line up the holes. And put some bolts through. Alright, then you tighten that up. Now we put on the brake rotor. We actually didn't need to take that off. So got that back on. Lubricated the chain. Just going to slip that over here for now. Now, you would think that this axle needs to pull all the way through, but no, what you do is you loosen up from both sides, you push it out, and then you're able to pop it out the bottom of the go-kart. It does not slide all the way out through the hole. All right, so we're gonna get it under the go-kart. And then feed it up into one side and then over to the other side. So there we go. One side's in. And then we line it up with our hole. And there we go. Now we just need to push it through our triangle wheel bearing mm -hmm. and then we'll put the wheel bearing on this side and attach things. So, fun begins. problem is we're hitting the shield here oh it's because our it's because we put the brake rotor on ah oh. yeah i guess you do need to take the brake rotor off brake rotor. so we need to remove it because we can't slide it in because it's hitting stuff here <laughs> all right here to tell you a little secret to the sequence here. So we had it put in and we had to take it out and then we put the sprocket back on and then we took it back off. So the right sequence to do this so that you don't have to take it in and out a bunch of times and can use your impact drill is you put the shaft into the go-kart before you tighten any of this up because you need the brake rotor loose to be able to slip it past all that stuff that's up in there. There's a shield and then the caliper. And you don't want the sprocket on there because in order to get your impact on the bolts for the brake rotor, you need the sprocket out of the way. So just have them all loose, all loose. And then you put them in and then you tighten down the brake rotor first and then your gear sprocket. Yeah. Loose. Okay, another tip is if you put your chain on while your sprocket's still loose, you can have it up here and then you just drop it up and in. Then your chain goes on super easy. Okay, then put your wheel bearing back on. Okay, now tighten your castle nut down really tight. Yep, gonna have to hold it so it doesn't spin. Okay, once you get the castle nut tight, you find the hole and you stick your cotter pin in and then you bend it. Okay, get your pin through. Yeah, bend the other side so it can't come out. Then, time for the wheel and the lug nuts. Alright, and then don't forget to tighten your chain. So we just shoved the bar under here, lifted, and then we, once the chain was nice and tight, then we tightened up this bolt and that bolt. Alright, so overnight we charged up the battery back there. 
and we're going to put the battery in, put the fuse in that blue, and then we'll try to start this thing and see if we can get this thing running and driving finally. Yeah. All right, here we are. We finally got the battery charged. We got the fuse in. We drained a little bit of the bad gas out of it. It looks like it's running clear now. So yeah, we're gonna see if it starts. So go ahead and start it up. It's cranking, it's a good sign. Keep doing it. Yeah, keep trying. Yep, do it again. And one more time, then we'll let it sit for a little bit. All right, we'll let it sit. It probably has to get fuel down into the carburetor. All right, give it a try, see if this thing runs. Again. Again. Okay, try it. Okay, again. Okay. All right, so we pushed it over to here. Would not start. Seems like we have spark. Um, Took the spark plug out and we do see spark there. So dirty fuel maybe. So right now we're removing the carburetor and gonna clean it. Okay, we just cleaned the carburetor and we're ready to try again. So give it a try. Try again. Try again. Try again. Oh, disappointment. Okay. Oh, yeah. Looking better. Yep, still having fun with it. Taking the carburetor apart. Can't get at the bowl because it's like riveted on. All right, so giving up for today, we finally decided to order some parts. We're just going to buy a new carburetor. They're fairly cheap on Amazon. The amount of time we've wasted taking that carburetor off two or three times, cleaning it as good as we can, because you can't even take the bowl off, so you can't get it in there, and that's probably where something gunky is clogged up in there. So, buying a new carburetor. Need a new wheel hub for the rear right wheel. So we got that coming too. And then after that, I think this thing will be ready for driving. But unfortunately not today. Alright everyone, I've been waiting for a part to come in and go, go check the mail. It's supposed to arrive today. Let's see if we got anything good here. Okay, I don't know if that's anything good. That was good though. Okay, that's all the mail, but yeah. Let's go check it out. Back up by the go-kart. Several days later than before, we ordered two things here. We ordered, which came in a box, came pretty quickly. New carburetor. Yeah, this was like pretty cheap, like $26, $27. And yeah, came with the carburetor. Um, this thing, for some reason, two fuel filters, bag of screws. <laughs> Actually, no, the screws are for something else. This awesome air filter, yeah. Clamp, all right. So that came, but then we still had to wait because I also ordered a wheel hub. And that thing came through the post office, so it took like uh, a while longer. But thinking that's what this goodie is, so let's open it up. And if we got both of our items, we'll spend some time working on the go-kart. Yeah. 
came from Texas. Let's hope it's the right size. That's always a question because I didn't order the one that actually said it was for Dong Fang. I ordered some other one. Because the Dong Fang one was like $80. And it was out of stock. So we just got Wheel Hub Yerf Dog. I hope so. Looks kind of small. Let's hope this is the right size. Otherwise we're going to be returning it. Let's hope we don't have to do that because then we have to buy a different one. So that's going to be one of the first things we should look at. Let's go see if it even looks close. So let's go pull that wheel off. There we are. Uh, right where we're working too. But yeah, right off hand the stud size or where they're at looks to line up so that's hopeful let's take this off and see if the splines match all right and this jack again we've got three jacks well three normal jacks besides these bumper jacks but you know what Only one of our jacks works. And it's a really poor jack. So that's why we use this junky thing. There we go. Up in the air. Get this wheel off. Don't want to drop it in that. See what we got to work with? Poop everywhere. I suppose I don't want to get that dirty in case we're returning that tomorrow. Don't want to drop it in the poop. <clears throat> don't want to put the tire in the poop. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's what we're replacing. That's what we got. Only one way to find out now, I guess. We gotta take it off. It's looking okay. Uh oh, me and Neil knows. Okay. I am back. And Neil knows. Gonna bend this. Pin out so we can take off our castle nut. Oh, there we are. Okay, let's put it in the gas tank. See, it's got some wiggle in it. When the tire's on, that's really noticeable. Alright, castle nut looks like a castle. Well, that looks like a castle. I think called a crown knot maybe. It kind of looks like a crown too, but yeah, it's like a castle. Now, now we find out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, that's no good. That's very disappointing. Oh, yeah, see they look similar, but this one can eat that one. Oh man. Yeah, that's too bad. That's really too bad. I had to wait like days and days and days for this to show up and it doesn't fit. Oh. Yeah, disappointment. Now I gotta try and return this thing to China through the mail. Try and find a different one. And that's gonna take longer to fix our go-kart, which we're hoping to sell. Yeah, because we want something even better. Yeah. Go do this first. <coughs> 
All right, so last time, whoa, don't fall in the poop. Last time I didn't measure it because, well, a couple reasons. One, the tire was all the way on and it was late at night. So I was just sitting in there. Hey, let me order this thing. Thought it'd be pretty common, but apparently not. So this time, now that it's off, I counted, I think 25 teeth, plus or minus one. I ran my thumb around the notches and let's measure the size here. So 25 teeth, maybe 24 or 26. And yeah, 9.73. What do you think? Back on it goes. Yeah. So I don't see the sun. It's not good. It gets dark way too soon. I think I'm going to try swapping the carburetor as long as I'm out here. And then that way, once we order the right part, it's just a matter of doing one thing, hopefully just one thing. It's actually not wobbly anymore. I wonder if it just wasn't as tight as it should have been before. We might be good. Maybe I don't need to buy one at all. We'll see if the wheel wobbles. Grab the wheel. I don't think there's any torque spec for dong fang lug nuts, do you? I think the torque spec on these is just a light ratchet. I'm giving them so they're not cross thread first. I don't want to ratchet them down cross threaded. Well, honestly, if we're replacing the hub, who cares? But we might not be replacing it. We might just be doing this and having fun. Yeah. Here's someone coming on a bike. All right, let's ratchet these. All right, here, we just got ratcheted on. Oh, look at that. I don't see that wheel shaking and on the axle. I think we might be good. Now the hardest part about that is figuring out how to return the Chinese wheel hub back to China. All right, we had no luck with the hub, but the good news is that it seems like it might not be needed to be replaced. So let's swap this carburetor. All right, we finally got the carburetor swapped. Have not tested it yet. Turned the fuel on. Um, yeah, let's hope it starts and runs. It's getting dark out. So let's take a look and see what happens. All right, go for it. Okay, keep trying. Try again. May take a little while to get fuel going. Try again. Okay, try again. Yeah, like pump the gas and try. Alright, let me spray some. St oh, we don't have any starting fluid, I don't think. 
Let me see if these cans are empty. 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 But this still has stuff. Well, I guess I can try. Okay, try again. Well, we did put the original one of these on, so I guess we can try this one. It's getting even darker. Guess what? After all that, I replaced the fuel filter. Just in case, well, maybe there's no fuel getting through the fuel filter. We didn't swap that. Well, then I opened up the fuel shut off. Nothing came up. Yeah, weird. Open up the fuel cap, and we're empty. We just filled this with fuel the last time we're working on it and it's I don't know all in the ground or something so got a little bit of gas left in the can gonna put it in and then we'll see if it starts got a little bit in the can so it makes it hard dark makes it hard too all right so see I can't tip the can we do weird stuff here. And just get a little trickle at a time. Poor design. And that's after we removed the basket. There used to be a basket back here in the way too. Trickle, trickle. Yeah, I see fuel in our filter. All right, we'll give it a try. Suck it in. Okay. Don't bang. From here. Disappointment. Disappointment. <laughs> yeah. So dark we can't see nothing out here. Not sure what's going on. Aren't you lost? Not yet. Oh, I lost the straw. Where'd the straw go? We need that straw. And you almost? Uh, we were out of fuel. Oh. Which is not good because we just filled it. So why were we out of fuel? Huh. Yeah. I need that straw. Can you see the straw? I see the straw. You do. Good. Let's stick the straw in here. Do you fill it up? Uh, not really, because we have almost no gas. Just a little bit. I'll put a little bit in. I don't know if it's enough. So I'm going to put some of this in. Oh, to get it going? Yep. If we had a light in front of the garage, That'll be way better. Yep. Nope. Because then we can see well longer. Oh, okay, go ahead and try to start. Okay, try? Yep. What? Yeah, go for it. Oh. Try again, longer. Oh. Oh. It's just too dark to work. I didn't like working at dark. Last try of the night. Yeah, there it was again. Another night of disappointment with this thing. Yeah. 
All right. To be continued another day. Hey, here I am again. Just gonna spend a few minutes looking at the go-kart again today. I have to work tonight, so yeah. Just looking at it a little bit, see if I've got something when it was dark out last night. And see if we have any luck. All right, we removed the fuel shut off, and we're gonna give this a try. Yeah, keep trying a little. Okay, trying the old carburetor with the fuel shut off disconnected. Go for it. Alright, we're swapping the carburetors again. So we just had the old one on. We're able to get it to fire over for about two seconds again, and then it shuts off. So we're going to try the new one. Okay, I'm not seeing anything wrong with the new carb. Took it apart, cleaned all the orifices, so we'll put it back on, but lunchtime right now. Okay, got the new carburetor back on after we took it off and looked at it, took the football off, cleaned, took some of the needles out, cleaned, back on. So, alright, give it a try. Try again. Try again. All right. Thinking it might be the fuel shut off here because we don't feel it activated when we're trying to start it. It like does nothing. So I pulled the pin out. So now we're just gonna put that back on there, and hopefully it'll act as if it's always allowing fuel. All right. We got the. Carburetor back on, this time with the fuel shut off pin removed. So let's see what happens. Alright, give it a try. Okay, here we are again. It's a nice sunny hot day. Well, not hot yet, but it's supposed to be 80 or maybe more. So I'll take that. Um, working on this thing again. Hopefully, we get it running today. I'm getting sick of working on this thing. Um, Want to work on the camper a little bit. So, need to get this thing done. Yeah. All right. Get the battery charged. Um, I think right now it's either a spark issue or a carburetor issue. I think the carburetor got clogged with junk because the fuel tank drained everything out of it. Yeah. And the brand new carburetor we attached with the old filter on. And it seemed like that was clogged right when we began. Yeah, so playing with the carburetor. Okay, try it. I'm off. All right, let me um, adjust the throttle. Give us a little higher idle here. What? Okay, go ahead and try it. Oh, getting close. Try again. Try again. Yeah, about time. Finally. Yeah. Is the fuel shut off. For some reason it was shutting off the fuel. Some put the computer module probably. Yeah, I ain't buying no new computer module. Alright. Probably just idling low right now, so. I think we're making progress. Now we gotta see if it runs and dries. <clears throat> oh yeah. Now to see if it actually works. Touch 
Pachi. As soon as I step on the gas, it dies. see if we can get this thing to move. First we're going to get it started in idling, then we're going to rev it, then we're going to disconnect the battery, the extra battery. Adjusting, but it hey, runs. Let's go! All right, man. I'd given up on this thing, but yeah, that proves that it just needs carb adjusting and stuff. It runs and drives. Thanks for watching. <laughs>